Hey up everyone, so we're back here for Final Fantasy 8 Remastered. This is part 4 of my Platinum in an under 10 hours guide. Right, so we're here in the Missile Solo. Um, so let's just make sure we're all junctioned correctly. Um, so we're not, we've not actually got a scroll on the team, so press triangle, uh, go into a switch, and switch his ability, junction, junction exchange him with somebody. Uh, Probably Quistus, yeah, just Junction exchanging with Quistus don't really matter. Just so she's got all his um, Junctions and GFs um, assigned to her. Then come over here and uh, interact with this bit in the middle in between the doors. Just press X. Um, yeah, just that thing on the wall in between the doors, just near where the hashed, the um, black and yellow stripes are. Yeah, interact with that, that will open the door, so then go through the left door, come through here. Just choose to act casual. Now I'm going to show you how to get through this bit without any uh, battle. So it's one battle which we have to take uh, part in and a boss battle at the end of it. But um, this way you shouldn't have to fight any um, just random battles. So yeah, come down these steps, uh, come through back here and there'll be some guys looking over here. Talk to this one. Talk to the one on the left. Just keep talking to him. Exhaust the dialogue. And then come back out here through here, go into this door, um, talk to this guy here, tell him what they, basically tell him what the other guards told you. Then once you spoke to him, uh, come back out, come through here, then go back to these, come back to these two again, talk to that same soldier again. The maintenance soldier. Yeah, once you've exhausted that dialogue, come up here, uh, and come up these steps. No, you don't go back there. Yeah, up these steps, back here, and talk to this first soldier you um, ran past. Talk to him, he'll uh, move, move on, then come through this door, uh, interact with the control panel, and just, just keep saying, uh, just hit whatever, just keep saying that. If you choose the other command, you just have to keep pressing square just safe doing that. So once the lights have gone out and come back on, uh, exit the room, and you'll, these enemies, will, well, these soldiers will come over to you. Um, don't don't skip past this dialogue, just um, wait to get to this dialogue option here and say try to talk my way out. And then just choose the top options and then you won't have to fight them then. Don't say that you won't fight, that's it. And head through here, over here. Yeah, then head into that room that they've all just gone into. He's got. He's going to ask you for help anyway. Yeah, just uh, just choose the top option. He's telling you want to help out. Then head inside. They see they're trying to push this push this huge whatever it is. Stand in the centre of these two, try and push it. Just go in between them and press X and that will start pushing then just hold, uh, you have to keep pressing square, keep pressing square uh, repeatedly, yeah, keep pressing square, doesn't seem to matter how quick you push it, it won't, will not move any quicker. The guy kneeling down isn't really helping out, is he? Uh, almost there, almost there. Yeah. Well, weren't too bad, was it? Thanks for the help, you prick. Yeah, thanks for the help, alright. Talk to him after. He'll say that you can use the control panel now. And come outside. Go to his control panel here. Press X. Interact with it. Now, when it comes on, are you going to choose target? Choose target, and then choose set error ratio. And just uh, press the D-pad right to us all the way to maximum, and then press X. 
then go to data upload and choose yes there we go and upload that data that's it, it's now uploaded to YouTube now go and exit uh, X, no, not simulation, go to exit again sorry I meant to go into exit again you only have to go on that um, the error ratio and the data upload one alright so exit yeah now come south try try to go the steps and the guide will move out of the way for you come up here yeah you're gonna meet these three you can't avoid this battle here they see straight through your disguise you have to defeat them so skip the dialogue magically got changed there uh, okay so now just defeat these yeah, nothing important to draw so don't worry about drawing anything Once you get control back, uh, just interact with every control panel on each side. Just press the X for that one on the left. Then this one on the top, press X. Then this one on the right, press X. And once you've um, interacted with all three, go through this door and interact with the panel on the left. Set it to 10 minutes. Yeah, then head through this door. Yeah, you see you're back here near the start, head outside. Yeah, everyone's running away. Evacuating. Yeah, just head east. There's gonna be a little boss battle now. Two is eight. Yeah, just keep heading east. It's gonna be a uh, huge robot thing you have to destroy. That's it. Yeah, nothing to draw, nothing of importance. So just keep attacking it. It'll go down soon enough. To be honest, probably Zell would have been good on this fight. To be honest. This limit break does quite a lot of damage. Yeah, that's Irvine's limit break. Irvine, you just have to keep pressing R1 to fire a bit. Yeah, it would have been a lot quicker with Zell. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, just keep attacking. It won't take too long. Yeah, he will do that attack. That will um, kill your teammates pretty quick. But um, you should be okay because you got uh, almost 3,000 health, so you'll be okay. Just them enemy, them teammates with low health. But uh, good thing if they do die, at least you can spam your, you can keep spamming your attack quicker. Oh, look, he's almost dead as well. Well, it's low he is, He's dead. They got um, to feed the soldiers that appear. There we go. There we go, Joe.
Yeah, so um, just keep winning left and right now. Yeah, you can go to that door, try and interact with that door, then come back over here and um, it should advance the story. Right, it's so the back of scroll now. So first of all, a triangle, um, switch, junction exchange, and scroll for whoever you gave all the abilities to. Put them back on scroll, you know when they've gone along because it's helpful Had to go up to like 3,000 or so. Uh, yeah, we're ready. So through here, as you can see now, the garden's been attacked. Just head north. Keep it in north. Uh, this guy's going to ask you something. Just say, I guess, for now. Say we're fighting him. Come through here. see Cypher's dudes, Cypher's buddies. Just skip through this dialogue. Now come to the library. Tell him enough of your pretending so he can defeat him. You'll be engaged in battle, just quickly destroy this. Yeah, just spam X quickly. It's not got too much damage. Yeah, once you've killed it, come in here and talk to these. Yeah, after dialogue, just talk uh, talk to them again. And this talk to this dude here. And then come back out. Go north to the next one. Train area one, come through here. Yeah, head up here. So you help them, and then there'll be a little battle here. Yeah, destroy them all. Yeah, T Rex. Keep using limit break, should go down soon enough. They have got a lot of health though, T Rex. A lot of health. There you go, but it will drop soon enough. Or oh, I got Dino Bomb. Talk to these afterwards, all three of them. Yeah, once you talk to them, exit. Just head back out. Uh, then head north again. And then head into this one, where the, the parking lot is. Talk to this um, follower. You engage in battle automatically with this one. And then just kill this enemy quickly. Yeah, this one's got quite a lot. It doesn't look like it, but it's only a small enemy, but it's got quite a lot of HP. Right, so you've killed that. Let's head north after to find the hologram of Sid. Good decoy. Then talk to these two. Then head out. And back out here. Then head back down south now. Back down here. And head east here, head through here. Then engage in battle with these. Yep, yeah, kill it. 
It's not got much health. Yeah, skip the dialogue. Yeah, Dr. Kadawaki. Talk to her again after getting an elixir. Uh, then come back out, come through here, back down south. You know, we'll see Zoo, she'll run up to the elevator there and head up after her. You'll come up here, head up here, down here. We we'll see her here, Zoo. Yeah, now follow her, she's going to take you um, takes you up to the headmaster. You'll find him waiting for you. Yeah, to make Zoo appear, um, you have to complete two or three um, passageways at junction off from the main sort of lobby area, and you have to talk to NPCs in there to actually cause Zoo to appear near the elevator. Uh, Alright, so just keep talking to Sid. He'll advise that you need to head to the bottom of the garden, I think. Alright, so back in the elevator after talking to him. Yeah, here come the missiles. Once again, control in the elevator. Uh, interact with the panel, the elevator panel. Uh, won't, you'll get the message that's not responding. Then interact with this little hatch on the floor, so outline on the floor. It'll open up, and you can climb down the ladder. Yeah, just keep climbing down, and then go into this um, doorway on the left. Come down here, open this hatch, and climb down it. Come down here. Yeah, head through the tunnels here, down this ladder. Lot of ladders, lot of ladder climbing. Head over here into this door on the opposite side. Come through here. Keep interacting with this. It won't work until you've, you've got to do this three times, by the way. Each time your party members will join in. Once your three are helping, that's the time when you'll manage to uh, rotate it. Just keep pressing square. Yep, yeah, alright, we've done it. Once that's um, done, uh, back through the door. And now you can access this uh, long ladder. Press X on that to climb down. Alright, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm alright now. Yeah, down the steps. Uh, through here. Over to this side and interact this ladder on the centre sort of shaft. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Uh, climb this ladder on the centre shaft. Just keep climbing up it. Uh, it will break and you'll crash through the window or the control room, whatever it is. Uh, interact with the control panel here to open the, hat, uh, the main floor around the end of uh, that long shaft in the middle. And climb back out onto the ladder you jump down here. Now you see that uh, little green light buzzing at the bottom of the screen? Go and interact with that. Yeah, go and interact with that little green light and there'll be a lever there. There we go. You'll open the uh, gate, uh, climb down this ladder. Now, just make a save here. Damn, I should have saved on 13. Yeah, alright, make a save. Now interact with this lever here, and that's going to open that door ahead. Now, important to do this: press triangle, uh, junction, scroll, uh, junction, magic. Then go into magic, and you want to junction uh, Kyoga onto magic. Very important. Yeah, because we need to draw something from this enemy. Then come over here. 
We need to draw 100 confuse. Uh, so get into scroll, draw. Um, I think it's the bottom one. Yeah, there we go. So just keep drawing them with, sc with scroll until he's got 100. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, make sure you don't kill him beforehand. So just keep pressing triangle to him. Select scroll um, actions again. Just keep drawing them until you've got 100. It shouldn't take too long. You know when you've got them all because um, it will not be that action will not be highlighted no more. Yeah, just keep drawing them. Come on, scroll, hurry up. Yes, keep drawing them. Come on, almost. Oh, I've got almost have a hundred now, surely. Yeah, see, that's it. Hundred confused. I've got them all. So let's attack them now. Let's destroy them. You see that they haven't got too much health. Go. They defeat us. All right. So let's just um, go back. Triangle uh, junction, scroll uh, junction, magic HP, and put Kyogre back onto HP now because we've got the magic we need. Now we can't actually we can't actually assign them confused right now. They're there for later, by the way. We can't actually assign them right now. Um, let's just go into GF and make sure. Just let's just see what everyone's learning. Yeah, it don't really matter if Carbuncle, uh, if it, uh, sorry, yeah, Diablo still learning Mug. Uh, Brothers should still be learning HP plus. Yeah. Uh, Siren. Don't really matter with her. But let's just get them a uh, refinement abilities. Um, Learn just in case you guys might want to use him something later. Uh, Ifrit, yeah, don't matter with him either, they don't really matter with the other two. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, okay. So, um, you may want to just go and uh, you can go and item and use remedy on both your cow and any characters that were hit with any um, debuffs in, during that battle. Um, but we should be okay. I think there was something else uh, I wanted to do, but it's going to have to wait. I can't remember what it was. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that was it. Because you might not know of this. Well, if you go into magic, uh, sc scroll. I'm going to use, and if you press square, if you press square on any magics, you can actually discard them. So um, all these all these magics that I've actually collected by accident because I've made the mistake of drawing them um, early in the game when I was actually trying to draw other magic. Um, you may want to discard these because you, you can only hold eight pages worth of magic. If you fill up all eight pages, then when you go to draw, the command will not be highlighted, and it'll look like you've already got max of that item, that magic. But you weren't. It's just because you don't have enough space. So if a magic's not highlighted on a draw command, it can mean because you don't have enough space for it or because you already have max stock. So just bear that in mind. If you're also if you're using draw points, uh, just random draw points throughout the game, this will build up really quick. So you may just need to come here sometimes and just delete anything that you've got like a low amount of. For example, I'm gonna delete all these ones I've not got much off. Um, actually a good point for me to show you now actually the only important ones you should have now are you should have 100 water 100 kyoga 100 berserk 
100 sleep and 100 confuse. So that's five uh, magics all we're worrying about right now. All right, so once you've done that, um, head out here, uh, head out here, climb down the ladder. Yeah, uh, can't remember how long this cutscene is. If it's long, um, well, you will not hear me talking now because I just skip. I would have skipped past it. But we will be entering Fisherman's Horizon soon. And soon we will be, the guide will go mobile. Well, that's not too long of a scene. All right, so just keep coming down the steps, uh, ladder even. You come to this control room. Now, don't move. Uh, well, just go forward so the screen changes. Now, don't move now, just keep pressing that. Well, go forward slightly. And just keep pressing X. Just keep pressing X, don't move. Keep pressing X. Yeah, keep pressing X. You'll find out if you keep running around on this near that control panel spamming X, um, you could be there for a while because you just need to stand in the center and keep pressing X on that central, that central, that central button. You just need to keep pressing that for a scene to progress. So yeah, now Balam Garden is going to um, transform. Here we go, cue the transforming sounds. Yeah, the, the bad thing, it is good this, now that Balam Garden goes airborne, it's good, but it's, it's not completely airborne, it's just like hovers. So it doesn't actually let you climb over mountain tops, unfortunately. So I mean, um, it's later on when you you'll get a flying ship later on, which literally flies in the skies, and that will let you go anywhere. But that's a lot later in disc three. So yeah, pretty cool scene there. We've just um, just repelled the missiles. Nice. Now we're now airborne sort of off. Right, so once you gain control, just talk to Sid again. Yeah, talk to Sid, say yes, and head down here. Head down the lift, you need to go to the second floor, that's it, this one here. And you need to head outside, so Head all the way down this corridor into this door at the end. Looks like an emergency door. And head up the steps. And you're coming to this little um, sort of balcony sort of place that overlooks um, the land. Yeah, just come to the front of the balcony. And uh, yeah, look at that beautiful view. All the birds flying about. If um, Renoa wasn't in your team, um, you probably wouldn't have had that small scene then. With her. So yeah, we just saw that, a bit pointless, that was very pointless. But now head back inside, head back up to Sid. Oh, well you're going to go up there automatically. But he wants you to save the day, so just go, just do a normal thing, go into the controls and just spam the buttons. Always seems to work. You're just going to miss Balam, the Balam town. So we just plonk down in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, it seems it's a boat as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, so just keep spamming X. We know it will be annoying to come and wake you up and ask for a tour. Just head, just head south. <clears throat> yeah, just head back down to the south near where the elevator is. And then you'll be interrupted by this dude. And he'll tell you to go to the master's room. Which is in uh, in level B1. So go into the elevator. And it'll take you to B1 automatically. Come down here. Here's Zell. Yeah, talk to Sid. It's going to be a little battle here, and we're going to get another guardian for us. Talk to Sid. He'll run off. Yeah, guardian faculty will then come and talk. Follow him down here. Uh, now just exhaust this dialogue and there's going to be a little battle now with that um, huge yellow dude. Yeah, just keep spamming X until the battle begins. Nog. Nog. Bit of a, he's a Nog, sounds like a Nog. Yeah, just keep spamming X. <laughs> And here we go, it should be. Battle should be starting now. You see, finished talking yet? Go there, here we go. Now you want to, um, to begin with, you can't draw anything to begin with. Well, you can't draw any guiding forces anyway. Uh, attack, there's three targets here. Attack the pink one at the top. Now don't get ahead of yourself and press attack too many times. Because you just, as soon as Norg appears, you want to draw. Uh, no, make sure you are actually drawing from Norg at the top. Oh, there we go. And you want to draw Leviathan from him. Very important. You make sure you draw that. It's a guardian force. Let's see, you've got a trophy there. But you have to make sure you actually highlight Norg and draw from him. Alright, so once you've drawn uh, Leviathan. Um, now just attack Nor. Don't worry about the other two targets. Yes. Uh, just keep attacking Nor. Use scrolls, limit break to kill him quick. That's it, and he's gone. He's defeated. Okay, we've learned HP plus 40% with Brothers, so confirm. Um, so I'm not change your name if you want to. So skip this dialogue. Now, once you resume control, triangle uh, GF, go to Brothers because they've just learned HP plus 40%. Learn, and now you want them to learn HP plus 80%. So we're going to learn that next. Now going to Leviathan, um, with him, again, doesn't really matter what you choose, so let's just choose to learn um, Refine Support Magic from an item, choose that, um, and then go to Junction, scroll, and then Junction that GF to him, so they're all, so all the GFs are assigned somebody, as, as you should know by now, uh, okay, so we're all done with him learning and assigning GF. So now head back into elevator. That will take you to floor one. Now you want to head into the, um, the medical area. Talk to what's the name again? Doctor, doctor, doctor. Yeah, talk to the doctor. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, Doctor Kadawaki. Uh, say yes. You now want to see the headmaster. 
There we go. And come down here and talk to the headmaster. And then just say about what to do next. You can ask ask any other questions if you want to. That's just for more story. But all you need to do to progress is ask the bottom one what to do next. Oh, okay. So once you've asked about what to do next, you can leave after that. Once you've asked them about that. Now exit. And now I think you need to go. I think you need to go and rest now. Yeah, so go back to your room, uh, rest. In fact, doesn't seem you have to do that. Um, so once you've spoke to Sid and you've asked him about what to do next, come down here. Ah, here we go. You need to head back to the centre where the elevator is. Zoo will come in. Have you seen the headmaster? Yeah, he's at the infirmary. Go to the second floor deck and see for yourself. Yes, yeah, so you spoke to headmaster. You've come here. Zoo's appeared. And you've told her where headmaster is. Now you need to go to second floor and go to second floor deck. Better than balcony, the ice calling it. Yeah, so come to the deck, just come down here, out here. Come here, there'll be a ship approaching. Just skip through this dialogue. Sid will appear in a second. There he is. Right, on time, skip through a dialogue, skip, skip, yeah, uh, once you gain control, exit, basically we need to find Aloni now, she's in the, she's actually in the library, so back in the elevator, back in the elevator, floor one, first floor, first floor menswear, yeah, first floor, uh, head east, and take this one here, the first one to the library. Head right to the back and she'll be sitting down here. Spam X. Get through all that dialogue. Loads of dialogue to get through. Right, so back on the deck. Goodbye. You're welcome. You're welcome. Alright, funny looking ass ship. It's a little flash, a little dream here of scroll. Just spam X to get through it quick. We know it again. Oh, you don't want another tour, do you? Ah, she wants to walk. I wish I left her on the other team now. Alright, so head out. Now we're going into Fisherman's Horizon. We'll be getting through this bit really quickly because I'm just going to do, you know, only what's needed. We'll be getting two um, two magazines here as well, two Timber Maniac magazines. Got some orders for us. Right, so once you get control back, just head down, head back down the lift. Here's your teammates. Uh, we need to head to the second floor deck now. Second floor, and head to the deck. You head to the uh, deck now, and you'll find Fisherman's Horizon. 
Yeah, just keep heading right. Yeah, there we go. Just keep heading right. You may have to move down or up sometimes to get through this, um, get um, through the um, walkways. Yeah, up here, down here, and right, and down again. Keep heading right. Talk to this guy to use the lift. Ride it down. Right. Once you're down on Fisherman's Horizon, uh, come here. Just um, go down these steps straight opposite. Come into the centre of the um, Fisherman's Horizon. Uh, into this centre. The centre house here, up the stairs for the door, then go up the stairs inside to find uh, to find these guys, the mayor, the mayor and his wife. Yeah, exhaust his dialogue. Yeah, once you've um, exhausted that dialogue, back down the steps, exit, then head back up the stairs outside. Just head back up here. Soldiers have invaded. Uh, so once you head up here, and the mayor's wife comes. The mail comes sh uh, shortly after. There he is. Head east now. Continue down here. Save the game here. Yeah, let's save because we haven't saved for a while. Yeah, so just keep heading east down it along the train track. North now. You find the mayor trying to talk to a soldier. And there'll be a dialogue option in a second. Say go help. Here we are. Yeah, so now I just kill all these. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little boss battle here now. Similar to the robot to earlier, if you remember, this is all damaged. Nothing to draw, nothing of importance. So just keep using the scrolls limit break for a fast kill. Two limit breaks, it's dead. And here's your teammates. They're not dead. Somehow they survived. I, I don't know how, but somehow they survived. <clears throat> it's like that boss was more armoured than we thought. Alright, so just head east once you gain control after the battle. Once back on the uh, train track, head north slightly. Just go into this house here. Now it's a Timber Maniac. Can you see that Timber Maniac's magazine just there? Just next to where I'm standing. Press X to um, pick that up, that's the Timber Maniacs issue. Then come back out, head south. Uh, now you want to head into this building here, just on the left. Can't really read what it says, alley or something. Yeah, head into there, then head up the steps. And then there's a magazine here as well by the cabinets. So that's two Timber Maniacs issue in Fisherman's Horizon. Now we're just going to press triangle and um, see our skills because I know they all just learned some skills. He's still learning that. Uh, yeah, he's learned that. It don't really matter what, like I said, it don't really matter what you learn with most of these. He's still learning HP for apes and damn, 240 ability points for that one. Yeah, so yeah, don't really matter. I'm just going to get all the re refinement abilities learnt. Okay. 
so good. Move on. Basically heading back to Balham now. So just retrace your steps back to Balham. Talk to him and he'll let you use the lift then. Yes. Up here you'll meet Irvine. There he is. I'll be ending this part soon by the way. I just want to get the, the rest of Fishman's horizon done. There's not much left. Five minutes or so. Right, so just heading back to the garden. It'll tell you about it'll tell you they want to go speak to Selfie. Just head back down to the first floor. There we go. Now we want to head to the um, sort of concert area. Just head west, north, and it's this um, this path here. Down the steps. There she is. Talk to her. It just exhausts the dialogue. Keep skipping the dialogue. Scrolls in bed having bad dreams. Right, so now you're going to take control of um, Irvine. Almost done, almost. Uh, now you just want to pick an instrument for each character to play. Once they're playing it, just go up to them, um, interact and say, OK, sounds good. Do that for each character. Sax, OK sounds good, uh, electric guitar, selfie, OK sounds good, Christus, I don't know, she looks like she'd be good at tap dancing, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, she looks really, Susa, yeah, sounds good, OK, we're ready, everyone's got a role to play, we know it's going to be actually trying to persuade Scroll to come to the shitty show. Right, so once you gain control, exit your room, come down here, squeak, uh, squeak, speak to Renoa. Eventually you'll have to tell her that you want to go. You cannot get out of this. You cannot avoid it. So once you come here, talk to Irvine. Exhaust his dialogue. And then talk to him again once he moves, exhaust his dialogue again. Throw the one down the steps and then you can follow him. Follow them. Follow them down the steps. Wow, awesome. Not. Okay. So once you get control back, yeah, Christus. Looks cool. Yeah, once you gain control, just head right out of the screen and then interrupt this book on the ledge. The naughty, did he say naughty magazine? Yeah, uh, now just exhaust all this dialogue now. It's going to be a lot of, lot of dialogue here. Kapsh! Slapped her out of the way. Hey. Yeah, just keep skipping through this. Boring. 
All right, here we go. Da, 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 little flashback, just get the dialogue again. He's still not even, I don't know how his t-shirt's staying dry. All right. So once back at scroll, uh, head south, and basically heading back up to Sid now, in the ballot, in the garden's control room. Hit up the elevator. Third floor. Here they are, they're all waiting for you. For you. You're, you are now the commander. Yes, now we have control of the garden. Interact this dude in the middle. Tell him you're ready to go. Yes. Roger. Yeah, now this opens up the game a little bit now. Um, yeah, choose your party, whoever you want. Doesn't really make a difference. Let's choose ladies. Have some, have some ladies with us for a change. Uh, Alright, so yeah, they're your controls. Square forward, X to get on off, triangle to actually go back into the garden. Uh, yeah, circle to reverse, and R2 to change your camera angle. Okay. So, as you can see on the map there, you just want to head north, head north, uh, to reach Balam again. Here we are. Now, I'm just going to land first and make a save. So, I'm going to press X to land. And then I'm going to press triangle and save the game. Yeah, and we're going to leave it there for that part. And in the next part, you can expect to play some cards. Yeah, play some cards and then we will be advancing the story a bit more. So yeah, I hope that part helped you guys. And I can't wait to show you again on part five. Alright, thanks for watching everyone and see you later.